Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, I know I don't like to do these types of videos, and I'm sure you don't like seeing them, but this one is, I think, once again appropriate, because another guitar, it's an unboxing, first impression only, no playing, and the reason I'm doing the unboxing is because this is Pro Audio Star, and the price is just, it seems too good to be true, $149.99 for a brand new um, Squire Starcaster semi-hollow body guitar. Brand new. Now, just got this thing delivered by FedEx. First off, Pro Audio Star shipping is phenomenally fast. From the time I placed the order to the time this thing hit my stoop, it was four days. Three days, actually. Which is great. So, shipping is good. You know, brand new, what looks like to be a brand new standard Fender box. Now, came like this, interestingly enough, but that's FedEx's issue. Um, they somehow managed to get the uh, staple on the top of the box unstapled. But hopefully everything is fine with the guitar. So let's, uh, let's take a look. And again, I don't know how these guys can do it by selling a brand new guitar for what they, they, they charge. This guitar is normally well over $250, and they're selling it brand new for $100 less than that, $149. So let's see what we got here. So, once again, this is what it looks like from Pro Audio Star. It's packaged nicely. Um, this is not typically how Fender, when you get a guitar from Fender, has it packaged. So I don't know if these are guitars that are on display in their store that are brand new. And maybe that's how they get by selling them for less. But um, we'll have a look and see what condition the guitar is in. Use my uh, trusty pen to break the tape. Bubble wrap comes in useful when I repackage things. And the guitar is here in the box. Has the uh, styrofoam covering on the guitar. Inside the box is uh, the Fender manual with the uh, little hardware to adjust the truss rod. So that's in the box. Headstock is nicely wrapped and put foam around it. So they took the time to do that, which is impressive. Extra rubber bands. There's the foam around the headstock. Here's the silicone gel to keep the guitar fresh overseas when they ship it. Taking off the foam. And we'll see what this uh, baby looks like. It's nice and cold. And being out in the truck, I'm sure, for a bit. Okay. Voila. This is the semi hollow Starcaster. Affinity model, Squire. And it has all of the hang tags that you would get with a brand new guitar. Online lessons, their famous warning for California. Um, get this off. I hate when they put these things around the tuners. They're really a royal pain in the neck. And this is the inspection ticket. Thing looks like it was inspected in uh, February of 2022. Comes with this over the switch, three-way switch to protect that. Let's take a quick look at the guitar itself. 
It's got the foam from the bag on it. it. Looks to be in pretty good condition, if not perfect condition. So far, at least. That's nothing. I thought that might have been a scratch, but it looks like that's glue. Okay. So, the guitar seems to be in good condition. That's a good sign. Now, lower that a bit so you can see the guitar. So, this is a Starcaster Squires Semi Hollow entry into the guitar market. These things have been out, these models, I believe, since the 70s. It um, does have a funky headstock, which I have to get used to, right? That shape is a little wacky. Comes with one string tree. You can see that there's the adjustment for the truss rod at the base of the headstock. It says Affinity on the headstock. The tuners are basic, you know, cheapo tuners, not locking tuners, obviously, seal tuners, though. This guitar was made in 21. So this was a 21 build. Um, basic semi-hollow bodied guitar um, looks inside very neat no glue no wires that are protruding F holes are nice and nicely painted and done um, these are two what I would guess to be basic ceramic ceramic uh, humbuckers on this guitar dual humbuckers a single volume, a single tone, three-way switch, it's a maple neck and fretboard. It is slightly glossed, very, very slightly. I would say satin, not, not, not even glossed. It's more of a satin finish to it, um, as well as the fretboard itself. Um, nut, I believe, is plastic. It's got your, you know, your stop bar piece a la Gibson-esque on the guitar. Um, I believe this is a 25.5 inch scale length as opposed to Gibson's. Uh, what else? Weight wise this thing is not heavy but it's not super super light. I would guess it to weigh maybe seven and a half seven point eight pounds that's my guess but I haven't really put it on the scale yet to tell you exactly but yeah I'm impressed. I don't know how these guys at Pro Audio Star can sell a brand new guitar for less than uh, over a hundred dollars less than what the going rate for the guitar is at any other store. It's just crazy. Um, it's not in tune, but I just want to see if the action is okay. No. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be um, buzzing crazy or anything like that. Um, the action seems acceptable actually out of the box. Not super high. So I'll have to take a look at it to see if it needs to be intonated or anything like that or adjusted. But my initial impression, Pro Audio Star, two thumbs up. Unbelievable value for $149.99 for this guitar. I don't know how the hell they, they do it. But yeah, very impressed. So guys, this was just the first impression. Um, video, no demo. I'll have another video coming up where I'll plug it in, let you hear what it sounds like. But right now, very impressed. Um, if you have any questions, fire them below. If you find these videos helpful, please subscribe. And as always, until the next time, be well and stay safe. Take care.